I'm going to show you how to do fraction calculations with a scientific calculator. But first of all, a word of warning. If you're going to be doing the level two national test in numeracy, you're not allowed to use a calculator in that test. So you must get used to doing these calculations without a calculator. But there's nothing wrong with checking calculations with a calculator. And obviously in the real world, when we do real life calculations, it's often much quicker to use a calculator, so it's a very useful uh, piece of knowledge to be able to do this with a calculator. So let's remind ourselves of one of the sums we did before. Three quarters take away one eighth. To do that sum, if you're doing it manually, you change the three quarters to six eighths, and then take away the one eighth, so that gives us the answer five eighths. So I'm going to do that sum on these two different calculators. The calculator on the left is a slightly older scientific calculator and it has a smaller display. So the display on, the, on that calculator is all on one line. The calculator on the right is the most popular selling calculator in the country at the moment and it has a much bigger display that's called a natural display. So it displays fractions just as we've been looking at them here with one number on top of the other. So let's try this sum then. Three quarters take away one eighth. To be able to do that on this calculator we need to use the ABC button. There's the ABC button. That's the fraction button. So to type in three quarters we turn the calculator on, we press three ABC 4. So our display says 3 and then there's a backwards L symbol 4. So that backwards L symbol is the line on the fraction. It separates the 3 which is the numerator from the 4 which is the denominator. So now I can carry on with the sum. I can press take away 1 ABC 8. So I've now got 3 quarters take away 1 eighth. If I press equals it tells me the answer 5 eighths. Let's try that same sum on this calculator. On this one we haven't got an ABC button but we've got this button here which is a fraction button. We've got a, a coloured in square and an open square underneath it. That's the fraction button. OK, so to enter three quarters, we turn the calculator on, we press three, fraction, four. And you see on the display, the calculator is showing three over four. Now this is where it gets slightly different, because if I press the minus sign now, it will carry on on the bottom of the fraction. So it will be four take away something on the bottom of the fraction. So what I need to do is I need to use this arrow key here and press that once so now the cursor moves along so that it's after the three quarters. So I can now carry on the sum. Take away one fraction eight. So the display now shows three quarters take away one eighth Again, I need to use the arrow key because my cursor is at the bottom of the fraction at the moment. So if I use the arrow key, it moves along. And now I can press equals. And it gives me the answer. Five eighths. The other very nice thing about this calculator is now if I want to, if I can press the SD button, which is here. And that changes the five eighths into a decimal. So we can see that 5 eighths equals 0.625. And if I press it again, it takes it back to a fraction again. 5 eighths. So that's how you do simple fraction sums using a scientific calculator. Now we're going to try a more difficult sum with fractions on a scientific calculator. So um, one, th one and three quarters plus two and one eighth 
makes 3 and 7 eighths. We'll do it on the older calculator first of all. So to enter 1 and 3 quarters, we've now got a mixed number. It's a whole number with a fraction. So I press 1, ABC, 3, ABC, 4. So there we have on the display 1 and 3 quarters. So we've got two backward L's this time, and it separates the whole number from the fractions, and then it separates the numerator from the denominator. So now I need to press plus, 2, ABC, 1, ABC, 8, and then equals, and we get the answer, 3 and 7 eighths. Let's see how that works on the other one. To enter a mixed number on this one, we have to use the shift symbol because above the fraction button, you'll see in orange a square filled in and then a square over a square. So that means you can enter a whole number and a fraction using that button. So let's try that. Let's enter one and three quarters. So we've got... Um, Shift. So on our display, we get three little squares. So we can now fill those in. So I type in one, and then I need to use the arrow key to move to the top square. Where I type in three, down arrow, four. So we've now entered one and three quarter on this calculator. So. We need to use the arrow key again to get the cursor back to the middle. And then plus, shift again, and fraction button. So we get our three little boxes to fill in. Two, and then move the arrow key along. One, move the arrow key down. Eight. So now we've got the correct display on our calculator. One and three quarters plus two and one eighth. I need to move the cursor again, don't I, because it's still next to the eight. So let's move that along one, and then press equals, and it tells us our answer is 31 eighths. That might be a surprise to you. You might expect it to say three and seven eighths. So how do we make it display three and seven eighths? Let's see. Let's try pressing the SD button. That changes it to a decimal. SD button again. That changes it to a top heavy fraction again, 31 eighths. So the way to do it is to use the shift button again. Shift button and SD changes it to 3 and 7 eighths. And if I do that again, shift SD, it's back to a top heavy fraction, 31 eighths. So I hope you'll have a play with your scientific calculator and work out the different functions for doing fractions with it.